Hey guys, it's Wild, and welcome to some live showdown. I've been having some shitty time actually getting some Wi-Fi matches, so I figure we'll try and do some showdown, and hopefully, uh, we'll get some decent matches as a replacement for the battle video for today. So anyways, we're gonna do some Ubers, cause I'm using that one team that Rich made me, and I've just been the move for Ubers, so we're gonna try and get a match. And this guy does not look terrible, so hopefully it's not terrible. But, uh, looking at his team, Genesec probably be my best lead. And then it's just easy enough to go from there, because I can U-turn against any of his p potential leads. He's probably just going to go with Kyogre, which makes perfect fucking sense. And I can just U-turn out and uh, wreck his face. I'm going to quick close Chrome in the background. But okay, so I did 46%. He's probably just going to go for the water move to be safe. So I'm just going to go to Rayquaza just to be safe, because then I cancel out his weather. And uh, he's, yeah, okay. He's probably defensive now that I think about it, because, yeah, that was kind of stupid. Because the thing is, usually a plus one U-turn does more, so really I'm just not even really paying fucking any attention to anything. But, uh, well, now that I got Rayquaza in, I might as well just try and go for an Outrage. I might be able to live an Ice Beam if he goes for it, but otherwise he's just going to go into Lugia, so whatever. 28% with that Outrage is not bad. I mean, it's not great, but it could be worse. <laughs> But, uh, I think what I'll do... Oh, fuck, I forgot to change a move. I just realized... Why did he Arrow Blast? Why is this Lugia carrying Arrow Blast? Does he even have... Yeah, he does have multi-scale, but why does he have Arrow Blast? I don't understand. Why is there an Arrow Blasting Lugia on my screen? But, uh, I know he can just recover up again here. So, we'll just go out to Genesect, and then I can hit him with a U-turn. And hopefully... Oh, fuck, I got a special attack boost. Well, I can still hit him with a U-turn and do a decent amount of damage, so I might as well just do that. Because that would be a pretty okay play. But he's going to go to a Zekrom, which I'm fine with, because what I can do is I can just go to Groudon and get my Stealth Rocks up. I don't know why I said it weirdly like that, but yeah, just get the Rocks up, because I know Zekrom can't really do anything to Groudon, except that actually did a pretty decent amount of damage. But... Since he's locked in outrage, that actually does look choice banded, but I should just be able to take him out with Earthquake. I just realized my Groudon has a Roar instead of Dragon Tail, because I just prefer Dragon Tail. So actually, right after this match, I'm going to quick change that to Dragon Tail. But I do live. He does get a little bit of a max damage roll, and fucking he lives too? Wow. Well, he's probably just going to stay in here and just try and kill me. So if he... Okay. I guess he tried to go for a Dragon Tail. I don't know why, but okay. <laughs> That was a bit of a weird play. Uh, okay, Arceus Steel. Okay, so... He could just kill me right here, but I'm not sure if he wants to or not. So I'm just going to go for Earthquake to see what he wants to do. He's going to Extreme Speed, does take me out. Arceus Steel with Extreme Speed, that's interesting. I, I would have never thought of something like that. But, I'm just going to go into uh, Ho-Oh, and I'm just going to go for Flame Charge. And he just goes out to Kyogre, and after the Flame Charge, I should outspeed everything on his team, and I should be able to kill him with this thing with the Brave Bird, just judging how much... Uh, actually, no, I probably won't kill him with the Brave Bird, but I'm going to try anyways, which is why I went for Flame Charge in the first place. I actually do take him out. So I was going to say, judging from the Genesect damage from earlier, but that was a plus one with a U-turn, but I still was able to take him out, so it's okay. But now he's going to go out to Latios, and I think a Brave Bird might be able to take him out, I'm not sure... It does, so we kind of get a uh, Ho-Oh sweep, so that's kind of nice. Except now he can go into his uh, Arceus and easily take the hit, so I guess it technically won't be a sweep. He should have just gone into Arceus, but I guess he thought that uh, Latios could live, but Ho or Lugia should be able to live it easily, and it does, whatever. Toxic, okay. Well, another Brave Bird will at least take him out, so that's something, whatever. <laughs> And he just stays in a die. That's fine. I really don't give a shit. But now he's probably going to want to go out to shame and his fodder. To stall at the Brave Birds and then eventually just go into his Arceus. Yep, he just goes out to shame and a die. I'm actually going to go for Sacred Fire. Just in case he wants to pull a double switch to Arceus predicting the Brave Bird. So, he doesn't. And he lives with a sliver. Which is whatever. I'm not really too bothered because he just kills himself off with Life Orbs. So that works. But now, I uh, just gotta deal with this uh, Arceus, and I guess I'll just go to Mewtwo and just hit him with an Aura Sphere, and see how much that does, because there's literally nothing else I can, well, I mean, there's plenty of things I could do, just none of them would be smart. Whoever the case, Aura Sphere does a pretty hefty chunk. I'm okay with that. 
He Shadow Claws me, and Extreme Speed will not be able to take me out, so Aura Sphere will take him out, because he's obviously not an Arceus normal type. And if Shadow Claw only did that much, yeah, Aura Sphere can't kill me, so there's that. But yeah, uh, 4-0. Not the best or worst match ever, but it was still a match, but I need a quick... No, not this. Not 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 the Little Cup team. But uh, I just want to get my ground on Dragon Tail really quick. I don't know why I had Roar in the first place, but I just prefer Dragon Tail. Because I'm weird like that. So let's do that. And we'll just hit the save button. And then we'll get another match. Because that's what we want to do. Get more matches. But uh, let's see. He's got... He's got stuff. So I think what I'll do is I'll lead off with Frostlass. Because I feel like he's just going to lead off with... Yup, Deoxys. So... I'm just going to go straight for Icy Wind. If he decides to taunt me, that's fine. If he Stealth Rocks, that's fine too. Uh, Shadow Ball will take him out now, so I'm just going to go straight for that. He's probably just going to stay in because most people don't know what to do against Frostlass, so that works for me. Take him out. And so now, if he goes out to either Giratina or his uh, Dialga to try and take on Frostlass, I can at least get up two layers of Spikes against them, but Spikes aren't really going to be that useful in this match because he's got the Shaman and the Lugia, but I can at least get him up for Giratina and uh, Dialga and Arceus. So, I mean, depending on what he switches in, I'll figure out what to do. But he's probably not going to want to go into his Shaman. Just because there is that risk of Icy Wind and then killing him. But I think he'd want to go into Dialga. Maybe Lugia. Lugia, yeah. So what I'll do here is I'll taunt him. Just to see what's going on on his set. And then I will just set up some spikes probably. After I see what this Lugia does, he tries to toxic me, so I can get up a free layer of spikes right here. And uh, he's just going to go to Arceus. I don't know what kind of Arceus he is yet, so I'm just going to go for another layer of spikes, see how fast he is. He's not that fast. He has Ds, which not the best play ever, but I, I, I probably am not doing the best thing ever by setting up spikes right here. So I'm going to... Just thinking. I think I'll just, yeah, go to Groudon. Because he's probably just going to go for, like, Shadow Claw. And he crits me. Ugh. My Groudon always gets fucking critted when I play Arceus. I don't, I'm not even joking. It's like, whenever I face an Arceus, it's like, Oh, hey, Groudon, you want to get critted by an Arceus? Sure. It's just ridiculous. I mean, holy fuck. But now that that Arceus is kind of half set up, I kind of have to sack Genesect at this point. So I'm just going to explode. That's all I can really do. I just hope he doesn't extreme speed, thinking he can live a hit, so... Uh, I just hope he does not go out to Giratina, because if I don't explode, I'm not going to get enough damage output on this thing. But if he switches, I don't really mind as much. It's just more of the fact that if he is allowed to have this Arceus, just where it's at is really the problem. Which, basically what I'm trying to say is, I need to get as much damage as possible on this fucking thing. Because, yeah, crits on my Groudon are fucking fantastic. I mean, I probably should have just stayed in with Frostlass, but I was thinking I should be okay, which I probably would have been if it wasn't for the crit, but this game hates me. But I don't know what the fuck this guy is doing and why he's taking so long. I guess he's trying to figure out what my uh, Genesect is going to do. I mean, if he goes to Giratina, it's not that bad, because then he'll lose a plus two, and I should be able to match up pretty well against this thing otherwise. So, really... I don't know, I'm just going to randomly cancel and then hit Explosion again, see if that does anything. But it looks like he's just taking a long time to pick his move. But we're just going to wait, because that's what we have to do, I guess. <laughs> Waiting is so much fun, right? R oh, there we go. He just stays in. I guess, I don't know what he was predicting, but whatever the case, he at least is almost dead. But now I'm just going to go into Frostlass, because really... Frostlass doesn't have much of a use left, so I'm just going to Icy Wind to try and kill him. It does kill him, so at the very least, you know, he couldn't extreme speed kill me, so that's something. But uh, now he's probably going to want to go out to Shaman, I would think. That would be his best play, but he's going to go to Dialga, so... Uh, do I want to get... I don't really need my third layer of spikes, so I'm just going to try and hit him, but he is a Scarf Dialga, so now his Fire Blast is disabled. So that's a good thing to keep in mind. Because now what I can do is I can go into anything I want, which, let's see, I haven't done any damage to his Lugia yet, so I think what I'll do is I'll go into Ho-Oh and fire off a Flame Charge just to get some damage off. So that seems like probably the best play I could do right now.
Probably isn't, but I'm stupid. But I would think, yep, he's just switching it out. Goes into Lugia. Well, takes a little bit from the Flame Charge. At the very least, I can start firing off Brave Birds and see how much... Actually, Sun's up. I can fire off Sacred Fires. What am I thinking? And it does about 56% get the burn off. And that means another Brave Bird should take him out. So, at the very least, I will kill off this Lugia. I just gotta figure something out for the rest of his team. But, the only concern I'll really have is just dealing with that Dialga. So, after that though, I should be fine. Because Dialga, just the only problem with that is that it's scarfed, so... Uh... Let's see what he does. He's probably gonna go want to go into Giratina, though, I would think. So, I mean, Shaman would have absolutely no purpose coming in. So, I predict... Yep, Giratina. I mean, it's not really mattering what I predict, so... We'll just go for Brave Bird, though, just get some damage off. And it does a pretty nice chunk, and he just outrage kills me, so that's fine. Um, alright, he does have leftovers, so that means my, uh, Shrikwaza will outspeed. But I think he's got this match, basically, because after I kill this thing off, he'll just go into Dialga to revenge kill me, and then I bring in Mewtwo, Mewtwo will, f like, he'll probably just switch out into Shaman as fodder, and then, uh, bring back in Dialga to kill off my Mewtwo, so it's probably his game. Unless he's gonna be stupid about it, but... I mean, it, it should just be his game. I don't see why it wouldn't be. Unless he misses right here. Whatever he does, he has to miss, basically. But, uh, yep, he's just gonna go into Dialga, like I thought. He's just gonna kill me, like I figured. And then I'm gonna go into Mewtwo, and if he's smart, he will switch out to his Shaman. That's if he's smart. Now, if he's stupid, he'll just stay in his Death Fodder, thinking that, yep, he's he's making an okay play. <laughs> But basically, like I said, what I'm going to have to do is hope for a miss with his uh, Dialga. But I'm not going to count on it, because that would be fucking stupid. Wow, it lived. Never mind, then. Well, yeah, that's basically that. If it wasn't for that Arceus critting, I probably would have been in a better situation, because then I could have had at least Genesect to not have to explode right off the bat with, so I'd had something to pivot switch with. But whatever. That's this game for you. But I'm just going to go for Aura Sphere just in case it, the fucking Diago want to come back in. But now Diago will obviously come back in here. And uh, I'll just have to try and hit the thing with an Aura Sphere. He's obviously going to outspeed me. Probably just going to take me out with whatever he goes for. Unless, again, like I said, he misses. But for some reason, the probability of that seems low. But I'm going to hope for it just because that would make me very happy. But he does hit. Does take me out. So that will be the match because of a fucking crit. But fuck you. I am sick of people that are like GG because of one single fucking crit that won them the game. But, yeah, whatever. Anyways, uh, their team. Looks like Genesect will be a good lead, so I'm just going to go with it. But they got a Hail team, so I shouldn't struggle too much. But, uh, yep, he leads off the Bomb of Snow. As usual, go for the usual play. U-turn. Goes into Narcissus Ghost. Don't really see those that much. But, uh, question is what to do now. Because I don't really know what Arceus Ghost like. Well, it either Calm Minds or it Swords Dances. So I think what I'll do is I'll go to Groudon to at least get my rocks up. If he decides to go into a Fortress, good for it. But I feel like he might just want to go get his weather back up. So we'll just count on that. Yep, he goes back into Obama Snow. Probably he's going to just go for Blizzard. So we'll go to Frostlass. I don't know why Frostlass actually, but... Oh, he subs up. That's fine. Uh, we'll just hit him with a Shadow Ball, I guess, just to break the sub. I don't know, there's not much else to really do. But he's just gonna Giga Drain. Doesn't do too incredibly much, so what I can do here is go for a layer of Spikes. Because he probably isn't gonna want to stay in. Yep. And he goes up to Fortress, which doesn't really help him that much. But at the very least, what I can do here is I can uh, go for the taunt so he can't set up his own hazards if he kills me off gyro ball he kills me off gyro ball but he volt switches and he gets it disabled whatever from cursed body not like it really matters but uh let's see he could go out to Arceus he could go out to well he can go out to anything but it's just what would be logical would probably be <sighs> that's actually tough I mean he could go out to Palkia if it's scarfed uh Bomb Snow doesn't really accomplish anything it just takes more damage um I mean, Arceus, maybe, but then the thing is, it's like, okay, Kieran White, that's fine, I'm just gonna go for, 
Uh, another layer of hazards, I guess. I might as well. He goes for Fusion Flare, that just takes me out. I had no idea what he was going to do, so... That was kind of the best play. But now what I'll do is I'll just go into Genesect and hit him with a... Because uh, I want an Iron Head, but there's this, the fear of the Fortress coming in, and it's like, I don't want my, all my hazards to go to waste, but... Alright, that... Let's just go out to Ho-Oh, I guess. Because that's probably the best potential thing I can do, because the Fusion Flares... Probably is locked into it, but he's probably not scarfed, judging from the fact that I outsped him with... Oh, wait, did I outspeed him with Frost Blast? No, I didn't. So he is scarfed. So actually, what am I even thinking? We'll just Flame Charge. But now that thing cannot switch in, because I'm going to basically kill this Fortress right here. And, wow, I actually just took him straight out with Flame Charge. I honestly didn't expect to straight take him out with Flame Charge, but that works for me. But, uh, yeah, now Kiram is dead from Hazards. Palkia comes in, isn't going to like taking a Brave Bird. I think it should be able to take it, though, but we'll see. Oh, I crit him. Well, I guess I kind of just sweep his team now, because nothing on his team can take a hit from Ho-Oh, really. Like, the only thing that really could is potentially uh, Arceus, but brings in Mamo. I think Brave Bird will do more on account of the Thick Fat, so I'm just going to go for Brave Bird. He goes for Ice Shard. Ow, that did actually hurt a little bit, but uh, just take him out with the Brave Bird. And I do actually live the recoil, so that's nice. But now, like I said, Kirim dies from hazards. Let's see, brings in Arceus Ghost. I'm just going to go for the Sacred Fire to just try and get a burn off. And don't, but he recovers up. That's fine. I'll do my own recovering. Actually, should I? Would that even be smart? Probably not. Let's just go for Sacred Fire, because... I don't know if he's physical or not, so I want to try and get the burn off on him, but he is special. I mean, it's not like I predicted him to be physical or special, but it's like, okay, he's special. I now know that. But uh doesn't really matter in the end, because I can just go into Mewtwo and just revenge him with the Psy Strike. And then, all he's got left, like I said, Kirim W, dies from hazards, and the Bomb Snow, which I can just kill with an Aura Sphere. So, as I said, I should be able to kill with an Aura Sphere. Then again, it's a Mewtwo. Why would I be able to kill with an Aura Sphere? There we go, Aura Sphere takes it out. And then, like I said, Kirim W will die from hazards, so that'll kind of be this match. He forfeits, whatever, it doesn't really matter in the end. We'll get one more, because some whatever. Well, at least one more. We probably will get, like, two more. But, alright, they got a Kyogre lead, or in the lead spot. They can lead with potentially anything, but if they lead off with the Thunderous, well, let's see, they do lead off with Kyogre, so obviously I'm just going to go with my same old, same old. Okay, lead off Kyogre, go for U-turn, and then probably just pivot switch into Rayquaza. Well, not pivot switch, but just switch into it. Because, let's see, if, just depending on if he stays in or not. Okay, so U-turn does about that much, so he might actually be... Uh, you know what, let's go to Groudon. It's probably stupid to do this, but I have no idea what he's going to do. And he does just Surf, like I should have thought, but I wasn't exactly sure. But now I can go into Rayquaza, because now I know there's no chance of Thunder Waving. But I guess... When I U-turned earlier with my, uh, fucking Genesect, I guess that Kyogre that the dude ran did not have any bulk, which probably would explain everything, but, uh, let's see, I know he's probably gonna switch, but what is he gonna switch to? I know he's probably gonna predict the Outrage, so actually let's go for V-Create and hope that it works. Okay, he goes up to Palkia, if I Outraged he would have been dead, but oh well. Um, let's see, I think he'll... Alright, what we'll do is we'll go to Ho-Oh, because that should probably be able to take any hit from Palkia. Goes for Spatial Rend, and it misses. That kind of sucks. But, uh, I'm just going to go for Flame Charge, because one Spatial Rend is not even close to taking me out. And then what I can do is I can just kind of boost up a lot. And if he decides to switch out to the Kyogre, uh, whatever. But I can kind of take Spatial Rends all day. And if I want to, I can just recover up right here. Which actually I kind of do, so I'm gonna... Because... Now I kind of just sweep him. Essentially, as long as he doesn't crit me. Because, yeah, actually I should be recovering up just because, uh... Fucking, what am I trying to think? Because if he does switch... Or no, just for going for Brave Birds, it would be better if I do have that extra health for Brave Birding with. But... Uh, I should be healthy enough right here. So we'll just go for Brave Bird right here. And I should be able to, yep, I do love the recoil well enough, so that is a dead Palkia. I mean, I probably won't be able to sweep him, because he'll just bring a Kyogre, and then the Thunderous will probably be able to take my Sacred Fire after 
stuff, but I should at least be able to kill off his Kyogre right here, which I do, so that's at least something, but like I said, um, Thunderous will be able to live a Sacred Fire, so the choice comes, actually, yeah, let's just go to Groudon, because it's like, okay, I'm not really too fearful of Thunderous in general, and he just tried to Thunder Wave me, so that's fine, I'm just gonna get up, actually, no, I should probably Dragon Tail, because I have no idea if he's going to want to go to Espeon or not, which he goes at Genesect close enough. <laughs> but at least Dragon Tail that thing out, so it can't really do too much to me. But now he's back into Thunderous, so I feel like he's just going to go right back into Genesect. And he does, so that works out. I'm surprised he isn't going out to Espeon, though, like I was thinking. Because then he just I just get Rocks up on his side, so it's like, okay, that's fine. I don't really care that there are no rock. I don't know what I'm even trying to say right now. But point is... Um, that, I don't know what I'm even talking about anymore. And again, I never knew what I was talking about in the first place, but, uh, we'll just go into Ho-Oh, because I know I can take a hit from Genesect, so I might as well just recover up. Actually, I could just go for Flame Charge, predicting the, uh, I should go for Sacred Fire, predicting nothing, really. Because, in case he wanted to just go straight into Thunderous, predicting me to go for a cover, then that would have worked, but now... I'm without a flame charge, but now he's going to go into said Thunderous, and... Yeah, I should be able to hit... Yeah, I, I got Genesect still, so I can handle his last two dudes well enough. So I'm just going to go for the Sacred Fire, and we'll see what he does. He goes for Thunder Wave. Like I said, I don't really care too much. I do miss Sacred Fire, which it does suck, but I do have Extreme Speed on my Rayquaza, so I can at least do that eventually. I probably should have gone for Flame Charge there, but he actually hits Thunder through the sun. God damn it. Well, he has a life orb, so at least that's something. So what I can do here is go into Rayquaza, and then I can just extreme speed. I mean, it'll probably just take me out with the next whatever he wants to go for, but I actually take him out with extreme speed. Not bad at all. I did not expect to just straight kill him with extreme speed there, but CB Rayquaza is pretty damn cool. But we'll just go for another one on this Latios, because like I said, Genesect kind of finishes the game, so I don't really need to give a shit otherwise, but he goes for Psyshock. Not quite able to take me out. I don't know why he just didn't go for the dragon move, but I guess he thought that it'd just be better off that he didn't. But now he's just going to forfeit, and we'll get one more match, because why the fuck not? Anyways, yeah. Laddering on Ubers. So much fun. Except when you get hacked. But whatever. We're going to get one more match, hopefully. Maybe. I don't know. Just got to wait, because... Ubers is less popular than everything else. So, well, not really, but I don't know. I still need to play some OU sometime. I've just been really lazy. That's really the root of it all. That's all I gotta say about that. But, uh, we're waiting. We're waiting. Can I have a match, please? I would like a match, please. Please give me a match. I mean, I'm sure there's more people on the Uber's ladder. I'm just gonna randomly check. Just cycle tabs. I don't know. Let's see what the ladder's. Hey, it's the Black Stardust. He's all like, what's up, I'm the Black Stardust. That's right, he was saying in the group chat. Oh, hey, we got a match. Here we go. Okay, so he's running a sand team. So... I'll just lead off with Genesect. <laughs> but he's probably just going to lead off with T-Tar to get his weather up if he doesn't. Um, he could lead off with the Arceus. He could lead off with the Rayquaza. Maybe even the Dialga. But I'm going to bank on Tyranitar. And then what I can do is U-turn out into Groudon or something, but he's probably, yep, he just does lead off Tyranitar. Do get the attack boost, obviously, enough, so I can just U-turn out. I could just stay in an Iron Head, but I feel like U-turning in case he wants to switch out, which he does, into Dialga, which works out for me because I get that U-turn off, and I can go, like I said, into Groudon, and I can just get the Stealth Rocks up. So that's what I will do, because that's a good idea. I mean, Actually, wait a second. He is Specs. I just realized that. Oh no, he's Life Orbed. Same thing. <laughs> well, I don't get Rocks up, but at the very least, what I can do is go into Mewtwo and hit him with an Aura Sphere. Because if he tries to go out into his, uh, this thingy, Tyranitar, he'll kind of get hit with an Aura Sphere, so, yeah. But he does go into, why did he go into Tyranitar? That was kind of stupid. I get... I guess just to get his weather up, but whatever. I don't know. But I am going to actually have to be smart with how I play around this guy's team, so 
I'll just have to keep that in mind. But I do at least take out the Tyranitar, which probably doesn't mean that much, but whatevs. I take out the, the Tyranitar, so maybe it means something. But now he's going to go to Rayquaza. Extreme Speed can't kill me. I've kind of had experience with this, so at least I'm pretty sure it can't. So I'm just going to side strike him. But then again, it's kind of a risky play for him to do this just because of the fact that I could have Ice Beam. He doesn't know I don't have Ice Beam. So going for this play is really, really risky. I feel like it was just... Okay, he's scarfed. That really makes no sense, but okay. Um, whatever he wants to do, I guess. But at the very least, what I'm going to do is go to Ho-Oh and just go for some flame charges because I should be able to take on a Scarfed Rayquaza easily. Seriously, Scarfed Rayquaza? I don't know. I don't, I don't claim to know anything about any of these crazy Pokemon these kids use these days. But he's going to go to Arceus Water. Okay, that makes sense. But, uh, should I stay in the Brave Bird? Probably not. Am I going to do it anyways because I'm fucking stupid? Yes, I am. Because <laughs> you know who's stupid at this game? This guy. But at least do 49%, so that's something at the very least. But it just covers it off. Uh, yeah, screw it. I'll just go for it again. <laughs> I'm stupid. I'm stupid enough to keep going for it. Or... Actually, I was... Oh, I crit him. That works. I'll live with it. I will not deny that at all. Now, the question is, should I save Ho-Oh for later, or should I let it down to the Excadrill that's probably going to just come in to try and kill me? Decisions, decisions. Oh, he's bringing in Rayquaza. Okay, well, he's probably just going to lock himself in Outrage, so I'm just going to Brave Bird and see what he locked himself into. Because that's what I feel like doing. I don't see why I should do anything else. So that's what I'm going to do. And anyone who says otherwise is going to get a uh, slap in the face. I don't know why I slap in the face, but... Point is, I'm just going to go for Brave Bird and say fuck it. But we'll see what he does. I mean, I know he outspeeds me. Because recalls it just has naturally higher base speed. So again, it's just a matter of seeing what he locked himself into so I can prepare for whatever he does. But he's just sitting there... I guess, I don't really know why he switched in this thing, though. He, like, he had plenty of opportunities to go into extra drill half this match, but he just chose not to. But now he's going into Dialga, which actually just makes my job a lot easier, because mainly the fact that I, I have an easier time just killing this thing now. It's like, that was one of the major um, roadblocks I was kind of looking at when I was seeing, you know, the rest of the team matchup, but... This just made it a lot easier. I guess he thought I would switch out to Genesect, predicting him to go for Outrage. But I, it would have just been smarter for him to just lock himself in or something. But now he's going into Latias. Uh, okay, why why is he neglecting this Excadrill right here? That That's the thing that's confusing me. It's like, he has this perfectly good Excadrill right here that he could be using. But he's just like, nope, it's no. It's just, I don't understand. It just makes no sense to me. That, I mean, it's just inclining me to now just get another match, just because it's like, even though, actually, probably not, but it's just like, seriously, why is this Excadrill just sitting there? I don't get it. But whatever the case, I'm just going to go on a Frostlast, mainly because, um, fodder, honestly, because I need my Rayquaza for his Excadrill, and so... I'm just going to sack Frostlass for that fodder. So, if he... Okay, he goes into Rayquaza. Um, I'm just going to try an Icy Wind. I doubt it's going to do anything for me, but whatever. Uh, if you lock himself in Outrage, I'll just go into Genesect. Because kind of how I pl had it played out in my mind, he's going to originally lock himself in Outrage. Then I was just going to use Genesect to... Okay, he's going for the V-Create. And now, I curse bodied him. So now... This is tricky, because, shit, I don't like this at all. I mean, I think CB Outrage does 2-a-KO Excadrill, but I'm not completely sure. But I'm just going to try to, because I think it does. I'm, yeah, it does, okay. Phew! So, you know, that's, that's a little bit of worrying off my chest. I mean, I figured it would, I just didn't remember exactly if it did or didn't, but, uh... Yeah, now, like I've been saying this entire match, what'll just happen is, 
Um, well, he'll obviously kill me, but then I'll just have Genesect to kill him, so that will work. I mean, he should have locked himself in Outrage a lot sooner, because this Rayquaza was not as important as he was saving it to be, so it was like, I didn't understand one bit why he did, but whatever the case, I should be able to kill him with Ice Beam, and I do, even though I don't have any special attack investment, I get, did get the boost, plus it is times more super effective, and he has no reason to take the hit better, so whatever the case, I win, and that'll kind of be it for this, because I don't feel like getting any other matches, because it's going to be a bitch to get another Ubers match, so yeah, that'll be it for this, so hopefully this is a satisfactory replacement for a battle video, but uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, etc, etc, blah, Rick, I'm a sub, and later guys.